Hi, this is Stephen. I am going to continue the awk command in Unix shell scripting. Previously, we discussed about the basic uh, syntax, uh, awk options, the selection criteria, actions, what kind of actions we have to do, and the given input file. Everything we have discussed in the first part. If you didn't watch it, uh, I request you to watch the first part and come, in, come into the second one. Now, I am going to explain you some basic commands used in awk command. I have given two sub in input files. One is the emp underscore s and emp underscore ns. Emp underscore s, both the contents are same. Whereas in emp underscore s, we will be having some spaces, and emp underscore ns, it won't be having any space. Um, if you see the following examples, you know why I have created like this. The two different files, but the contents are same. One is having the spaces after the call fields field values. And the other one, you don't have any spaces. Let me go to the examples. Here, I want to print the DBA. See, the input file is first we will be seeing without space cap and cat underscore emp underscore ns. I want to print the employee whose designation is DBA. So, if you want to print it, print the employee details whose designation is dba i want to do i don't want to print the entire line i want to print only the selected fields then how will you write the awk command you can write it like let me explain one by one awk is a command iphen f is the options the first part will be the options let me show you the syntax part also awk followed by the options options here it is if and f within double quotes you are giving pipeline why you are giving the pipeline symbol because the given input file emp underscore ns is having pipeline as a delimiter the pipeline as the delimiter so that's why we are giving if and f within double quotes the pipeline symbol and within single quotes within single quotes the first part inside is inside the single quote is selection criteria what you what do you want to select which column or which field do you want to select? I want to select the DBA. I want to select only the DBA values present in the given input file. I didn't give the column name equals DBA. I didn't give column name that is dollar three. Here DBA falls under the third column. So I didn't give it as dollar three equals DBA. Print the value. I didn't give it like that. Here I am simply giving it as a search criteria. Here I am not giving it a, as a filtering condition. Even you can re rename it as the command can also be written as dollar three equals DBA. It will also work. But coming to the first part, I am searching for whether the DBA word is present. I am searching whether this DBA word is present in the given input file or not. It may be in the third column or it may be in the sixth column. Anywhere it can be. So I am just searching for the word DBA. I don't want to print the entire line. I want to print only the first four columns. The first four columns, then ID, name, and the designation, and the department. Only the four columns I want to print. So within curly brace, you have to give the print statement and closing the single quotes. Yes, got it. The fifth and sixth line, um, we are, I'm printing the fifth and sixth line. I am not printing the entire line, I am printing only the four columns. Even you can give it like $0 also. If you want to print all the lines, just give $0. Yeah. yeah. You are getting the result. The output is, it is printing all the lines pre present in the search criteria. Present in the, present for the word DBA present for the word DBA it's printing all the lines if you give dollar zero go to the next example even you can give the character class also character class or meta character in this selection criteria here in cat emp and underscore ns file there are two names called Chaudhary the first one Chaudhary, the name starts with the capital letter whereas in the second one the name starts with the small 
uh, smaller case lower case and here the fourth character is w whereas here the fourth character is u so i want to search i want to give the selection criteria in such a way it should display both the result in the in this case you have to go for the character class let me explain one by one in the awk command awk hyphen f what is the field separator in this given input file emp underscore ns the field separator is pipeline symbol so hyphen f followed by pipeline and the search criteria what do you want to search i want to search for the field choudhury but the choudhury the first first character might be in lower case or upper case so i am giving giving it both the lower case and upper case inside the square bracket remember in square brackets whatever the characters you give it will return only one here you are giving cap c and small c that is lower case c it will return either caps capital c or the small lower case c it will return only one character h o and then fourth character is either it may be w or it may be u so you are putting it inside the square bracket square bracket means it is a character class it will return only one value either w or u and rest of the characters are same d h a r y i am searching for this word choudhury anywhere inside the file not in a particular column anywhere in the file if the value present the choudhury value is present i want to print the line number nr means line number and i don't want to print the all the values i want to print only the selected columns dot 1 to fourth column first column to the fourth column before salary i want to print the first four columns of the given input file emp underscore ns got it i am printing the value nr means the line number what is the line number line number 6 it falls under line number 6 and 7 so it will print the line number also if you don't want to print the selected columns i want to print all the values then substitute as dollar 0 it will print the all the values for the selected fields that is for the selected value the choudhury let me explain the next one select there are nearly six number of lines six no seven lines present in this given input file but i want to print only the third line to the sixth line i want to print only the third line to the sixth line in that case sorry i didn't copy it properly score ns this is a input file given input file and for the given input file i want to i want to print the third line to the sixth line print only the third line to sixth line not all the lines copy paste let me explain i f n f double quotes pipeline means it's a delimiter for the given input file and within single quotes you have to give the selection criteria what is the selection criteria what what do you want to, what i want to select i want to select third line to the sixth line so if you want to indicate that line then you have to use the built in variable nr if nr equals 3 means if the line number equals 3 then comma comma means from line number 3 to nr equals 6 so nr equals means 6 means till nr equals 6 i want to select the lines from nr equals 3 comma nr equals 6 line number 3 to line number 6 this is a selection criteria this is my selection criteria so the selection criteria is nr equals 3 to nr equals 6 all these four lines what i want to do i want to print the value what kind of values i want to print i want to print the line number followed by the first four column values so inside the curly brace you are printing the statement print nr comma you have to give comma otherwise the value will be uh, will be combined the values will be combined combined and it's not it will not it will not be readable 
dollar one comma dollar two comma dollar three comma dollar four you are printing the four values along with the line numbers so from line number three to line number six you are printing the value got it you are printing the values from line number three to line number six you are printing the values Hi everyone. Continuing where I left, I am going to print the line numbers from three to six. For that, I am giving this selection criteria. N R equals three, comma, comma means from N R equals three to N R equals six. This is my selection criteria, and within curly brace, I am printing the values, printing the line numbers. So I am printing the line numbers three. And the selective columns. What are the columns I am selecting? From one to four. So dollar one to dollar four. The next one. This example is also very much similar similar to the previous one. But I am redirecting the output to sample dot txt file. Just redirecting the output to sample dot txt file. Let me explain. Already executed. Org if and f. The field separator is the pipeline symbol for the given input file emp underscore ns, and n r equals three comma n r equals six. As I said earlier, I want to select. This is a selection criteria. I want to select the line numbers three to line number six. So n r equals three comma n r equals six means I am selecting the line number from three to six. This is my selection criteria. Selection criteria is over. What is my action? I want to print the value. So within curly brace, I am giving print. What are the values I want to print? The line number n r comma dollar one to dollar four. That means I want to print the column values dollar one to dollar four till the fourth column. Should I want? Do you want to display the result? No, because I am giving the re redirection symbol, the greater than symbol. Means it won't print the value. It will be redirected. The output will be redirected to the sample dot txt file. So I am not printing the value. And closing the curly brace and the single quotes. So redirection symbol and the file name should be written inside the curly brace and single quotes. Remember, remember that. And followed by the input file name. You can see the result of sample dot txt. The sample dot txt contains txt contains the same value what we got previously. The same value is overwritten in the sample dot txt file. Next, we will see the comparison operator. Uh, comparison operator. If there are spaces while doing the comparison operator, if there are no spaces while doing the comparison operator, what kind of operator symbols we have to do? We have to put. these kind of things we will discuss in the next session thank you for watching